So it's about an hour ago now that it was confirmed by Buckingham Palace that planned virtual engagements that Her Majesty was due to do today, she has decided that she won't do those. And in a short statement, they said, as Her Majesty is still experiencing mild cold-like symptoms, she's decided not to undertake her planned virtual engagements today, but will continue with light duties. So I don't think it's necessarily the news that many of us would have wanted. Of course, we'd far rather see her carrying on uh, and see some pictures of her today doing an engagement. But don't forget, when you are 95 years old, also when you are the Queen, it's a little bit different from her, from us really, soldiering on through cold-like symptoms. She wants, of course, always to be seen to, to look her best. She'd have to get up, get dressed, get her makeup on, get her hair done. And the last thing that the palace would want is pictures out there of the Queen not looking her best. Now, yesterday it was confirmed by the palace that engagements were still in the diary for this week and that the Queen intended to do as much of that as she could. And that's after it was confirmed on Sunday that she tested positive uh, for COVID. I understand that there are still other engagements in the diary this week. Uh, for example, every Wednesday, she has an audience of some sort with the Prime Minister, whether virtually or whether in person. So that's certainly something that, that won't be uh, missing from the diary. And also in recent weeks, she's been overseeing the handover of ambassadorial papers. So remotely from Windsor, at Buckingham Palace, the ambassadors have turned up and she's she's held an, held an audience uh, with them. We don't know exactly what engagement she's had to cancel today, but I suspect it was probably something uh, like that. But of course, this is not necessarily the news that we would have wanted to hear. I think most of us would rather hear that she is, she's up and about. But as the palace stressed, she is continuing with light duties, which I suspect probably still means meeting up with her private secretary, going through those red boxes full of papers uh, that she receives every day. It's not been an easy year for the Queen, has it? No, it hasn't. And if you just think last week in itself was, was difficult enough, we had, of course, um, Prince Andrew settling that case with Virginia Dufresne and all the controversy around that. The Metropolitan Police last week confirming that they are now investigating uh, the Prince of Wales's charity when it comes to cash for honours allegations. You've also got Prince, Prince Harry taking the Home Office uh, to court. So, no, it has certainly not been the start to the Platinum Jubilee that the Queen would want it. And the last thing that anyone would want, Her Majesty and the Royal Family, certainly is for her to have now contracted COVID. And, of course, she's 95 years old. She's due to turn 96 in April. And, of course, she had those health issues just before Christmas, which I think has really focused our minds on the Queen, her age and her, her frailty in a way that we probably haven't in recent years because she's enjoyed such good health during her 70-year reign. But I think for the palace now, it's all about managing the messaging around this. Of course, the royal family are notoriously private when it comes to their medical matters, but the palace will want to make sure that they are still putting out those messages of reassurance. And that's why they're stressing that she is carrying on with light duties yeah. and also that they're really going to play it by ear when it comes yeah, uh, to the week ahead when it comes to engagements.